Observer's Isekai, the genre of Isekai where a character from a world different from ours goes to another real world that is also different than the world of the audience. It's a bit of a lesser known and discussed subgenre among Isekai as a whole, as more attention is generally given to more standard Isekai and reverse Isekai since they tend to have characters and worlds the audience can directly relate to. So, what a good opportunity to bring more awareness to the subgenre as a whole by an old example of it I happened to recently read, Flatland, a 140 year old social satire with aspects of theoretical mathematics. Flatland is a novel written by Edwin Abbott Abbott, eldest son of Edwin Abbott, under the pen name A Square all the way back in 1884. The story in brief is composed of two major parts. The first part explains the society and some history of Flatland, which is a two-dimensional world composed of shapes with men being polygons and with women being lines. It explains the behavior of how the lower class individuals usually get their way around by feeling, with higher class individuals having to spend years learning sight recognition in order to tell how many sides an individual has. This story, being a social satire based around a Victorian society, has very similar social standings from its time in this world as well, with circles being considered nobility, women being considered irrational emotional bombs waiting to go off, and overall standing in society being based upon how many sides you possess as a polygon. The second part of the story is where the isekai aspect hits. It starts with a dream, where the protagonist, the square, finds a vast multitude of small straight lines and points all moving on the same straight line who are all chirping. He attempts to converse with the largest one and finds out that they are in fact the king of this one-dimensional realm. Discussion ensues where Square learns about how this realm functions up until he starts antagonizing the king, upon which he wakes back up in Flatland. What follows is the turn of the millennium where the Square is visited by a divine visitor, a sphere, who attempts to convince him of his existence of the third dimension. When all of the other attempts of rational explanation and analogy fail, with the square attempting to assault the sphere, the sphere does the final option, and drags him out of his plane of flat land, and exposes him to what being three-dimensional really means. What follows from there, and up to the ending, I'll leave for you to find out. The book is public domain, and you can find freely either a PDF on Google Books or a normal website like LumenLearning.com via a simple Google search. I would recommend checking the book out. It's a short couple hours read that you can enjoy if you want something short and different. If you end up liking it, this book has its own small multiverse of fanfiction spin-offs that have been done on it since it has long since been public domain that you could potentially take a look at as well, which are all generally available in their own ways, whether they be on random websites, archive.org, or deep library sites. If you like Isekai in general, feel free to give a sub. Don't expect too active of an upload schedule though, as this is just a hobby, so you would be best to turn on the bells if you actually want to see more. That's all for now, however, feel free to leave any suggestions or specific things you want me to cover isekai-wise if you have anything in particular.